Hello everyone, Pixelmonk here, and welcome to an old school runescape guide showing you how to complete the quest Garden of Tranquility. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is long, about 2 hours. The requirements for this quest include 25 farming and the completion of Creature of Fankenstrain quest. The required items for this quest include Ring of Cheros, which can be pickpocketed from Dr. Fankenstrain on the top of Fankenstrain Castle if you have lost it. All the tool leprechaun tools in your inventory, which include rake, seed dibber, spade, secatars or magic secatars, filled watering can, and gardening trowel. Seven compost or super compost, one marigold seed, three onion seeds, three cabbage seeds, hammer, one rune essence or pure essence, at least two plant cures, have some extra in the bank just in case, pestle and mortar, filled plant pot, fishing rod. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have Amulet of Glory, Ectophile or Draymond Staff, Combat Bracelet, Games Necklace, Teleport Tabs or Runes to Vrock, Falador, and Catherby, and something to do while you wait for the patches to grow. There are some maps in the description below that will help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. Start the quest by going to the Vrock Castle and speaking to Queen Ella Maria, who is located on the eastern side of the castle in a fenced garden. When prompted, say, I would be happy to help someone who is so in touch with the people. Be sure to check your quest journal to make sure you have started this quest. Now we are going to enchant the Ring of Cheros, so head to Drainer Village. Once there, talk to the wise old man. Say, Queen Ella Maria has sent me to seek your guidance. He will ask seven questions to test the player to see if they are capable of possessing the activated ring. The answer to those questions are listed in the video here. Show them a range of colors so that they can come to a compromise. Take his generous gift even though you have no need for it. It's absolutely unquestionably the most interesting thing I've ever done. Put on the silly helmet and jump into the cannon. Yes, of course, PK Master 0036, no one could ever challenge your greatness. Ask me nicely and I might consider it. No, especially not that wise old man who doesn't look at all suspicious. He will enchant the ring if you have answered all the questions correctly. Wear the ring, which is now called Ring of Cheros, activated. Now we are going to start the farming portion of this quest. First you'll have to go to the allotment patch that is located in between Falador and Drainer Village. Talk to Alstan and say, do you have any delphinium seeds to spare? Use the charm option four times on him until he asks for you to grow marigold. Then choose the option, okay, I'll grow you some marigolds. First use super compost on the flower patch, then plant the marigolds in water. Marigolds take 17 and a half minutes to fully grow, but to prevent disease you must water them at every turn. Keep an eye out for when this happens and if they do become diseased, use your plant cure on them. You may pause the video here until your plants have grown. Once the marigolds have fully grown, pick them and talk to Alstan. Say, I have those marigolds for you. He'll give you four delphinium seeds. Next, use your Ectophile to teleport to Port Phasmatis or your Draymond Staff to code ALQ and walk to the patch in between Port Phasmatis and Fankenstrain's castle. Talk to Lyra and say, do you have any orchid seeds to spare? Use the charm option seven times on her until she asks for you to grow onions. Then choose the option, that's a deal, I'll grow a patch of onions for you. First use super compost on the allotment patch, then plant the onions in water. Onions take about 35 minutes to fully grow, but to prevent disease you must water them at every turn. Keep an eye out for when this happens and if they do become diseased, use your plant cure on them. You may pause the video here until your plants have grown. Once the onions have fully grown, pick them and talk to Lyra. Say, okay, I have grown these onions like you asked. She'll give you three yellow orchid seeds and three pink orchid seeds. You may drop the extra onions if you need to. If you need to refill on water, use a watering can on the water pump just west of the farming patch. Now you need to go to the patch that is located north of Ardoin. Talk to Kragen and say, do you have any snowdrop seeds to spare? 
You use the charm option five times on him until he asks for you to grow cabbages. Then choose the option, that's a deal, I'll let you know when the cabbages are ready. First use super compost on the allotment patch, then plant the cabbages and water. Cabbages take about 35 minutes to fully grow, but to prevent disease you must water them at every turn. Keep an eye out for when this happens, and if they do become diseased, use your plant cure on them. You may pause the video here until your plants have grown. Once the cabbages have fully grown, pick them and talk to Kragen. Say, okay, I have those cabbages like you asked. He'll give you four snowdrop seeds. You may drop the extra cabbages if you'd like. Now you'll need to go to the patch that is located in Catherby. Once there, talk to Dantera and say, Do you know how I could grow a white tree? Use a charm option three times until she asks for you to cut down a branch from the white tree, which is on the top of Ice Mountain near the Barbarian Village. So teleport to the Edgeville Monastery using your combat bracelet or to Edgeville using an Amulet of Glory and walk west to the top of Ice Mountain. Use your Secatars on the white tree to get a white tree shoot. Use a shoot with a filled plant pot and water it. The branch will soon grow into a sapling and will be used later on in the quest. Now you'll need to walk to the north side of the Edgeville Monastery and click on the roses, only to be stopped by Brother Althric. When prompted, choose the charm option to continue. He will say that you are wearing an evil talisman. So head east towards the Edgeville well and throw the Ring of Cheros inside of it. Go back and try to take the rose seeds again. This time Brother Althric will be pleased and will allow you to take them. Gather red rose seeds, pink rose seeds, and white rose seeds. Go back to the well where you threw the ring and use your fishing rod on the well to retrieve your ring. This may take several attempts. Now you need to go to Burthorpe, so use your gaming necklace to get there. Go inside of the bar nearby and then the garden that is just to the east of it. Talk to Bernald and use the charm option on him and then say, I accept the deal. He will tell you that his plants are dying. Use your plant cure on the vine, however, it will not work. Talk to Bernald again, who will tell you to go to Elaine and Taverly. Head directly south and go to the tree patch in Taverly to find Elaine. Speak to Elaine and say, I need to ask you about strong plant cures. When prompted, do not use the charm options on him. After talking with him, use your hammer on the rune essence to break it up into rune shards, and then use the pestle and mortar on the rune shards to make rune dust. Use the dust on your plant cure to turn it into a strengthened plant cure. Go back to the vines near Bernald and use this potion on the vines to cure it. Once the vines are cured, talk to Bernald who will give you vine seeds. Now go back to Queen Ella Maria in the Varrock Castle ask, how am I supposed to move statues all the way here? She'll give you a trolley to pull and push the statues. Every time you push or pull, the trolley will move one square. If you right click and select a big push, the trolley will move several squares. First teleport to Lumbridge and walk just outside of the castle gates. Examine the south statue which should be described as a king. Use the trolley on the statue. Once the statue is on the trolley, push it across the bridge nearby, where a cutscene will occur. Then continue to push the trolley into the Queen's Garden. Once it is inside the garden, it will need to be placed on the statue plinth that is directly to the east. You do so by getting the statue somewhat close to the plinth, right clicking on the statue and selecting the place option. Now you have to get the next statue. Teleport to Falador and use a trolley on the statue that is located in the center of town. A long cutscene will occur. But once it is over, push the trolley north out of Falador as quickly as possible or else a guard will catch you. Again, a cutscene will occur. 
Push the statue into the garden again, only this time go a little further south to the next plinth. Place the statue. Now you must start planting the seeds you acquired. You'll need to add compost to the orchid pots before planting, however, everything else will not require compost or watering. Once everything is planted, it'll take about an hour to fully grow, so you can pause the video here if you'd like. When everything has completely grown, talk to Queen Ella Maria, who will ask for you to get King Rolled. He is located on the first floor of the east side of the castle. Talk to the king and choose Ask King Rolled to follow me, and use the charm options on him when possible. He will follow you into the garden and a cutscene will occur to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 5,000 farming experience, one apple seed, one acorn, five guam seeds, four dose compost potion. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.